welcome to AWS Medicine. This is a tutorial series on AWS Glue. Now, AWS Glue is one of the most important services in AWS, especially if you are a data engineer or a data scientist or ML engineer or someone who works very extensively with uh, data. Okay, so let's try to understand. Like, I mean, in this first video, we'll just try to understand what AWS Glue is and what are the you know use cases for AWS Glue and what are uh, some of the key components of AWS Glue. Okay, and in the coming uh, tutorials, we'll try to go a little bit hands on and try to you know do some stuff with AWS Glue. Okay, so now first thing is what is AWS Glue? Okay, why AWS definition itself? AWS, I mean, Glue is basically a managed TTL service, and it also provides data integration capabilities uh, to like I mean do your data discovery, ETL cleansing, transforming, and cataloging, etc. Okay, so uh, like I mean. At a high level, there are two important aspects of AWS Glue. One is the ETL part of it, and the other one is the data catalog part of it. Okay, let's see what each one of these means. Now, if you uh, like see AWS Glue console, this is how it looks like. Okay, so if you see I mean, here in the left, there are two uh, major sections. So one is the data catalog, and the other one is your data integration and ETL. Okay, so uh, data catalog is nothing but your uh, repository of um, like metadata repository of your sources like across your uh, aws cloud okay so you can create like uh, tables for your uh, data which is sitting in your data like s3 or your data warehouse anything and so basically this you can think of data catalog as a metadata metadata repository for all your data sources in aws uh, you know cloud okay so we will discuss more about this data catalog in uh, you know next video and the second part of uh, glow is data integration and ETL, okay? So ETL stands for uh, extract, transform and load, okay? So if you have a data source and you need to do some transformation and then you need to load to a target, uh, you can do that using AWS Glue in a very uh, simple manner. Like it's very easy to use AWS Glue ETL. Of course, we'll do some hands-on uh, like stuff in the coming videos on how to use uh, ETL features of AWS Glue. Okay, so that was high level uh, explanation of the two important aspects of uh, Glue, which is data catalog and uh, ETL. Now, uh, if you look at what is AWS Glue used for, like, I mean, these are the four major use cases. Of course, there are a lot of other things that you can do with AWS Glue as well. But I would try to list down like four major uh, use cases for AWS Glue. One is, of course, the data integration and ETL, like I was talking, like, I mean, uh, if you need to do some uh, build an ETL pipeline, uh, from take your data from uh, source and then transform it and load it to a target. Uh, you can use AWS Glue. There are uh, Glue jobs which you can create, uh, which we'll talk about like in, in depth in the next video. Okay, and then uh, there is data lake and data warehouse integration. You can integrate AWS Glue with uh, data lakes and data warehouses. Uh, like uh, you know, you can create a metadata repository tables for your data which is sitting in data lake, uh, and you know reference them. It's like basically a cataloging purpose. What we discussed in the previous slide. Okay. And then there is data transformation, which is of course again the same thing as uh, ETL. You can transform your data using AWS Glue. Uh, if you do, you need to do some cleansing of your data, or you need to enrich your data, uh, do some like I mean, do some transformations with your data. You can use AWS Glue jobs, and uh, of course the data cataloging and metadata management. So these are uh, these are the four important use cases for AWS Glue. Okay. Now, if you look at like, I mean, the high level architecture, like, I mean, high level uh, diagram of AWS Glue. So uh, one key aspect that we were talking about, right? Like, I mean, this is an ETL file. Okay. So you have a data source, which can be anything like, I mean, a database or S3. So you can extract the data from there. So this is your glue job. So this is basically your glue job. You can write uh, like, I mean, whatever logic you have uh, in your glue job and then uh, load it. I mean, transform, do some transformations and then load it to a data target. Okay. So that is one of the key, uh, I mean, features of AWS Glue, uh, which is basically ETL. So ETL uses AWS Glue job, okay? And then there is the cataloging part of it. So like we discussed, cataloging is the uh, is like a metadata repository for all your data sources. So it can be like, I mean, uh, any data store, S3 or anything, okay? So the Glue crawler is something which can scan through your data store and then create a table uh, in your catalog. So suppose your data, like, I mean, you have a CSV data, which is sitting in S3 then the glue crawler can scan through the data and automatically create a table in uh, AWS glue catalog for that data, okay? So that is the use of AWS glue crawler. Okay, so here uh, I think we like more or less uh, discussed the key components of AWS glue, which is basically a crawler and then a job 
basically glue job and then there is a aws glue data catalog okay so this is this is a high level overview of uh, aws glue service and different components of aws glue okay another important uh, feature of aws glue is that uh, it is completely serverless so if you need to run an etl job i mean you can uh, you can run like a python code or you can run a spark code to transform your data or like i mean uh, or a scala code as well so you can you can you just need to write your code and run it okay you don't need to set up any servers or you don't need to like uh, provision any clusters nothing like that so that is one of the like i mean uh, major features of aws glue it is completely serverless okay so so with this basic understanding of aws glue let's uh, like just take a look at aws glue uh, console and then try to see what it looks like and you know how to navigate through the aws glue console okay so when you like come I in mean, open aws glue console this is how it looks like so it has all those uh, etl jobs data catalog so let's try to expand the data catalog part so if you click on data catalog uh, part there is of course databases so this is one database that i had created so inside database like of course you will have your uh, tables and everything so we will like i mean walk through uh, all these things in detail in our upcoming videos so uh, like i mean i had created one uh, table from my s3 data so this is that table which is there and then there is another important like i mean which is your uh, data integration etl part okay so if you click on etl jobs you will go to your glue uh, studio okay so here if you see you can just like i mean uh, there are a lot of options you can just uh, visually map your source and target and then transform the data and then of course you can provide your own script as well okay upload a script or like so these are like I mean, this is a spark code and this is a python code so you can like i mean use there are a lot of ways in, in which you can write your there's a lot of flexibility in which like i mean you can write your uh, transformation of etl code using aws glue okay so this is basically the etl page and there are notebooks and also we will be like i mean going through all these uh, things in our upcoming tutorial so this was just to uh introduce you to aws glue and uh, make you familiarize with the, the key components of aws glue and uh, you know the key concepts of aws glue okay another thing to note that notice that like i mean nowhere uh, you need to provision any clusters in aws glue because it is completely serverless like we discussed before okay uh that's it for this video i hope you uh, found this video helpful and you're able to get a uh, like i mean a basic understanding of aws glue is if you're not able to like i mean completely get the hang of it uh, don't like i mean don't worry in the coming videos, we'll keep revisiting each of these concepts and uh, you know keep going more uh, deeper into each of these concepts. Then you will definitely get uh, like I mean a better understanding. We'll also do some hands-on stuff so that you can you know uh, try to like I mean understand what is going on uh, in AWS Glue. Okay, so yeah, I hope uh, this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.